This is a quick video to demonstrate a new app from Parallax team called Drape Slabs on Topo. Uh, so what this app does is it's a part of a bigger toolkit that we offer uh, called Foreground for site modeling within Revit. Uh, we had a few requests for this tool to be available on its own, so that's what we're doing. Uh, what this tool allows you to do is take any floor element or roof element, and we'll show that in a second, and actually drape it onto a topography surface. So I just drew a floor in this model inside of this view. Within the Parallax tab, if we click on Drape Slabs on Topography, we will have a UI to select to be able to pick some options. Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll pick the slab and we'll see the points that have already been calculated for me. Uh, we have a few different calculation methods in here as well. So you can only do the corners of the slab if you just want to do a rough approximation. Uh, you can do the boundary points and where they intersect at the contours. And you can also specify an interval around the entire slab if you want to be a little more, a little more dense on your point selection. Uh, the intersecting contours is pretty good, especially if you do the, um, the intersecting contours on the inside and outside of the slab element. We also have the ability to offset the slab over the surface. So if you're modeling something like a sidewalk that's on top of uh, the surface that you're modeling first, you can do that. Um, or you can just have it placed right on the surface. I tend to enable the point offset. Uh, once you have all of that done, we can go ahead and click run. And the tool will render in the viewport what it's doing as it does it. That way you're aware of what's happening in your model. Uh, so it's kind of like a bit of a visual progress bar, if you will. Once it's done, you'll see that the viewport refreshes and we do have a slab that's been morphed to that topography uh, that we picked. Uh, over here on this corner, we would end up needing to add a few more perimeter points if we wanted this to be a little more accurate, uh, but it gets us pretty close. Let's go ahead and take a look at this with a roof element now as well. We'll draw a roof in the same general area, and then we'll fire up our UI. We'll pick that slab element, so we're classifying that as a slab. And we'll add a few more points around the perimeter as well. And then let's make this a little less dense. And then we'll go ahead and click on Run. Once again, you'll see it render in the viewport. That way you know what's going on. And then when it's complete, you'll see your slab element uh, morphed to your topography. So pretty nice for that site modeling. Uh, I like to use these kind of things for rendering to where I have all these great landscape elements modeled to be able to get into another software or something like that. So now you can see that we do have that roof morphed to that topography. Uh, if you don't like the result, you can go in and add a few more points if you'd like uh, or things like that, but it does get us pretty darn close. So there it is, Drape Slabs on Topography, available from Parallax Team as a standalone app. And if you're interested in more site modeling stuff, uh, be sure to check out our, our foreground application as well. Thanks.